this class the continuation of this class is the continuation of yesterday's uh, class uh, where we had um, a little bit of an interruption, but we are good to go today. Um, thank you, host. Thank you for your patience. Um, the class starts now. Um, so yesterday um, we talked about um, um, we started talking about what is digital marketing. Um, this is what the class is all about, and um, I explained that. Um, I explained that digital marketing is um, digital marketing is a component of marketing that uses the internet or online-based um, tools, such as your computer, your phone, your tablet, and all that digital um, media and platform to promote um, to promote your service and product. Um, this is what digital marketing is all about. Um, I also said yesterday that um, digital marketing is also um, related to um, social media management. So yeah. I also said that digital marketing is, um, is related to social media management, that if you're going to be a digital marketing, a marketer on Upwork or LinkedIn or wherever you want to um, trade your um, freelancing skill, you would also be, be able to manage um, a social media account. So that is what um, that is what a social that is what digital marketing is all about. And uh, I also said that um, um, I also said that um, personally for me, um, that is what that's one of my main niche on Upwork, and that is what I do as um, uh, that is what I do as a as a freelancer in all my platform. And if you follow me on on LinkedIn, you would see that I have. Um, a social media expert. So, and uh, if you're looking at it, you see that um, search engine optimization is one of the most important tools that you can use to advance your business. Um, be it, um, be it um, um, that you have a business like you sell clothes or you sell anything, or you want to market um, a, any business for your client, you are currently working as a digital marketer. And these are the tools that you'll be able to use to enhance um, or do your job as a social media uh, marketer. Um, some of you are quite uh, conversant with what they call Google Analytics. So if you understand, the Google Analytics is one of the tools that you're going to use to work as a digital marketer. And I'm going to mention about, um, I'm going to mention about uh, 10 to 15 um, social media uh, marketing tools that you can use and when you're speaking to a client specifically you can be able to mention that you're quite conversant with these tools and when you say that you know and when you say that you know these tools your client will be able to understand that yes that ye that yeah you are you are you are indeed a social media marketer i'll give you an example if you say that you live in lagos and someone say do you know where is the keja um so you apply for a job in lagos and you say that you live in Ikeja, or you live in Leki, or you live in Isolo, or you live in uh, Ketu, or Sulere, uh, I would at least know that, yes, you live in Lagos. So this is one of the tools that you can say when you're applying for a job. And I've always said on my class that you can learn from the job. When I started as a social media manager or um, slash digital market, marketer, I used to um, hype myself a little bit. And for, 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 for all of you that are listening right now, sometimes when you're applying for a job, be, you should be able to mention that you are, you, you are open for the client to train you. The first time I started working as a digital marketer, I had a client from Canada that trained me and he gave me some softwares, some of these tools that I'll be able to use. And when he started teaching me how to use um, Google Search Console, I know what it is. I saw it on Google. Um, and, but what the client said I should do is that he asked me to go and research about the uh, um, Google Search Console and how it is being used. And I quickly went to Google. And um, in a matter of uh, two hours, I understand what a uh, Google, search, Google Search Console does. And I was able to get back to my client and say, yes, I'll be able to do the job. So. 
um, if you have a pen or you're listening to this class, I would like to mention uh, these two, starting from one is Google Analytics. Two, we have what they call MailChimp. MailChimp. MailChimp is a tool that you can use to advance your uh, marketing skill. And the good thing about um, the good thing about um, Google, um, the good thing about this uh, Google tools is that it is self-explanatory, and you just need to go there and information. Like for example, I will tell you the practical example you can be able to do when you go to when you go to um, when you go to to IG. Or when you to, um, um, when you go to Facebook or something, and you see people writing about a particular uh, thing they are selling, or they are doing a Facebook ad, or they are doing what they all of those things they are already doing the digital uh, 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 marketing. For example, if you sell a business on um, if you have a business you are selling on on Facebook or IG. And you're writing, oh, please, and all that and all that. And once you mention that, and when you start talking about it, you're already doing um, what they call digital marketing. So, and the third one is what they call SimRush. SimRush is one of the most important tools that you can use to be able to um, uh, do as a digital marketer. And let me tell you what SimRush does. Now, if, 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 if you have been a blogger before, or you have done a business before, Sometimes you see what your neighbor is doing to be able to sell. Let, let me use Facebook as an example. Now, whenever you see on a Facebook where someone writes, um, um, for example, I'll use clothing as an example. As a fashion designer, you're marketing, uh, a, a, you are marketing a product for a fashion designer. You see those hashtags, those hashtags, those, 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 those hashtags on Twitter, those hashtags you see on IG, Those hashtags you see on Facebook put them um, under uh, uh, under the under their post. They will put a hashtag like says like um, a hashtag fashion, hashtag men's wear, hashtag women's wear, hashtag um, uh, children wear. Those are those those are component of digital marketing. You already do doing that already. You don't need a special. You don't need a special a special a special other thing to do. But what it does is that when once you do that, once you practically add those hashtag, it will be able to when someone anywhere they are in the world, if someone is in Pakistan and they search for they head, they, they immediately click on any hashtag, like let's say men's clothes hashtag, your 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 post will be able to appear on their system. If someone is in Canada or Australia and they, they search something on a on a on a on a, on men's clothes, your 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 product will be able to appear. That is digital. That is digital marketing, and that is what Simrush does. And what well, another thing Simrush does is that Simrush is able to find what they call keyword, like what people are searching for. People are searching for. If you go to Google right now and search, for example. You're looking for accommodation in Lagos, or you're looking for a popular restaurant in Lagos. If that you search those things that are under, underneath, like say a um, restaurant in Suleri, restaurant in this place, this those are digital marketing. And that is what Simrush does. Simrush is able to find you that keyword that can help to position your client business or your own business to do what they call, um, uh, to rank on Google. And that's what they call SEO, that's what they call SEO. Search engine optimization. That is what it does. And I understand that, I would like to say this again. When you, when, 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 when you start working as a digital marketer, or you start working as a virtual assistant, I do not expect that you understand everything. Don't, don't get yourself so worked up that you need to know everything. No, you don't need to know everything um, when you start as a digital marketer or when you start as a web developer. What it does is that once you start working on a particular, on a particular um, a skill, the more you go, 
the more you know things more, you go deeper. Because some of you um, used to send me a message and on my social media hand and say, oh, I don't understand this, I don't understand this. It's fine for you not to understand it. It's perfectly okay for you not to understand it. But what you need to do is to constantly research on your particular skill. That is why I always mention, I always talked about niche freelancing. If you want to become a web, a web developer, everything you do on your system, everything you talk about every day should be about web developer. If you want to be a researcher, how to say something on the internet, everything you, everything you do all the time should be about being a researcher. So if you want to become a digital marketer about what we are talking about right now, put it on your social media handle. If you have a LinkedIn, if you have a Facebook, if you have a, a Twitter account, if you're on IG, go under your, under your name and put digital marketer and hashtag. Make sure that you put hashtag on, underneath digital marketer. When you do that, when you do that, it, it gives people idea that when people are searching for digital marketing online, you, they can be able to see you, they can be able to find you. That is one of the most important things you can be able to do. So that is what Simrush does. Simrush should be able to have to help you to find what they call backlink. Um, Simrush should be able to have, help you find what they call a keyword. And keyword is, is, is the most important tool. It's, sorry, it's the most important uh, 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 ways of being um, digital marketing. Let's say, for example, I'm, I'm hyping up about Simrush because it's a very good tool. As a matter of fact, I have a premium access to Simrush and I use it every day. I've used it today to be able to find a particular keyword of a company based in a, a, somewhere in Maryland. I'm able to see what they are doing or what they are not doing well. With Simrush, if you want to find about a particular company, how they are getting ranked on Google, how they are getting ranked on Google, what do you need to do? You don't even need to stress yourself. Copy that company link, their website link. Go to Simrush and paste it on Simrush. Just paste it there. And after today's class, which is the theory, by tomorrow class, I'm going to be showing you practical aspect of it. So that we don't say it, we don't just say it and off we go. No. So um, tomorrow is going to be um, um, about the practical aspect of the class. So today I'm telling you everything about the theory, what you need to do, how you need to do them. So tomorrow I'll be showing you how to search something on, on Simrush to be able to find a particular um, keyword, to be able to find what they call backlink and all that. For, so for those of you that have a blog or have a business, these are the ways you can be able to find a backlink. Backlink helps you um, for you to understand what company is doing. For example, now I keep saying, for example, if you have a website or a blog that ranks on Google, and I want to see what your blog is doing, and I need to, and I want to see how people visit your website, with that same rush, I'll be able to know if someone is able to visit your website from Facebook or from a link or from a comment. Those are the, what they call, those are the things they call backlink. Backlink is, 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 is just practically when someone um, from um, um, Facebook or from an article or from your con content that you wrote. And let me make no mistake, content is also digital marketing. If you write a good content, people will be able to click on your website and visit your website and they will be able to see what you're doing. That is digital marketing. So if you're a digital marketer, you must also be conversant with what they call content, content writing. And if you want to become a good digital marketer, you must know how to post. You must know how to write a good content. It is not rocket science, but once you know how to write, and sometimes if you don't, if you don't know how to write, you can employ a, a, a content writer to write on a particular pro, uh, 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 business or a product. That is why if you go to um, uh, Upwork and a search about content writer as a niche, you will see where those people are talking about. They can write this for your, uh, for your business, for your business to rank on Google. They are already doing what they call digital marketer. Even as a content writer, you're also um, working as a digital marketer, but on a different skill, but are related. It is like when someone is living in Lagos and someone living in Ogun State, the neighboring town, 
You're also living in Lagos. When they ask you, say you're living in Lagos. That is what, that is what um, for me, that is what I define more as those who are working in content writing line. They're also helping these two marketers. So I mentioned SimRush, and I'm going to mention what they call content marketing. Content marketing is also a tool. That is what I've been explaining since. Content marketing is those content you write. That is what will help your business to get noticed, rank on Google. And it is not just anything. Once your business is ranking on Google, or your client business is ranking on Google, you're already making money. You're already making money. You see those people you follow on Twitter, those people that you follow on Facebook, immediately you search something on Facebook and those people begin to appear. Those people have worked all over their years to build their profile. So immediately you search something that's related to what they talk about on Facebook, on IG, they pop up on your search engine. Those people have already done their, done their homework. That is where you see it on your Google search engine and they appear. So anything you search on your Google, on your Google and it appears, those people have done their search engine optimization. They've done their SEO. They've wrote a good content. They've done all sorts of uh, marketing skill, especially content writing, especially a uh, hashtag, especially uh, using all these tools that I mentioned about like SimRush, uh, Google Analytics. And I was talking about yesterday that Google Analytics, Analytics or Google Search Console is this. If you have a business, um, take this advantage. If you, have a, if you have a business, go to Google and register it. And there's another thing called Google Workspace. If you have an office, office somewhere, you don't need to be telling people, uh, my business is in uh, Sulere, come to this place. No. The many people search about your business, the address, the office, your office picture, and the, and the, the office picture, and the direction will appear on, you, on, your, on, on a Google. That is already doing uh, Google Analytics, Google workspace in one, people are able to find you. That is digital marketing. Now, I've talked a lot about this a lot. Please, if you have not been learning Canva, which is another tool you can use to advance your digital marketing skill, please go and start learning Canva. By tomorrow, I'm also going to be showing you something a little bit on Canva. But the best thing you can do for yourself after I show you tomorrow is to, is to go and learn about, practice about it. You must learn how to use Canva. Canva is one of the best tools. As a matter of fact, if you're working as a digital marketer, social media manager, and you don't know how to do, and you don't know how to use Canva, I would, I would be sorry to tell you that what a client will ask you, do you know how to use Canva? And the good thing about Canva is that if you go to Upwork now, search Canva expert. There are people that their job on Upwork is Canva. The only design, Canva, 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 Canva is part, and it is free. You can use it to design your CV. You can use it to design your poster. You can use it to design your flyer. You can use it to design your project. You can even use it to design your video that you put on, on Upwork currently. That is what Canva does. And in fact, when you end this class, go and search about Canva on your desktop. Register about register it. There's, 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 there's a free version. When you are conversant with it, you can just do what? You can just do what? You can just pay money. Canva is very cheap. You can subscribe from 2500 You can subscribe from 5000 Naira to get Canva Pro. With that Canva, you can begin to design about logo. And the good thing is that you don't need to be, you, you don't need to be a designer to use Canva. Canva have those comp components already that will be able to allow you to design. Without, um, without being a designer like a, a illustration, a Photoshop and the rest of them. That is what Canva does. And it's also one of the most important tools that you can use to advance your digital marketing uh, uh, business. Then there's this particular one and it's quite popular with client on Upwork. Please pay attention to this one. It is called Trilo. Trilo is, um, Trilo is like um, a CRM like more like uh, something that you, where you can document. For example, if you're working for a client on Upwork and a client wants to see what you're doing, you can always go there to update the client that today you have project one, 
project two, project three, project four. That's a matter of fact. You can be able people people in your company. If you put hundred in your company, as you and you're working as a virtual assistant from Lagos, Nigeria, or from Enugu, Nigeria, or from Uyo, Nigeria, and you're working for a client based in the United States with Trilo, they can be able to follow what you're doing without even asking you any particular question. They will be able to know that um, uh, Latifa or a maker is doing um, is is doing this today. Is doing this today. Is doing that tomorrow. Someone said they can't hear me. I'm actually loud and clear, and I'm sure that if nobody's hearing me, they will be able to complain. Can people hear me, please? Yes. Okay. Also can't hear you. Okay, so okay, so 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 this is what Trilo does, and it's important that you document th these apps I mentioned, and you can just search about them one after the other. And by tomorrow class, which is going to be all about practical, I'm not going to be saying anything tomorrow. I'm actually going to be sharing my screen just for you. Um, yesterday I mentioned that I'm not feeling too well. I'm still not feeling too well, but I do not want to disappoint you. I want to make sure that Comrade comes on. I would be able to um, I would be able to um, tell you and um, teach you on this particular class. As you can see, I do not have light. Um, I don't even have. It's quite raining here. It's raining heavily. So to go to power my gene is quite difficult for me to go outside. So please bear with me. And um, as you as you on this class, I'm so sorry. And tomorrow is going to be much much better. Thank you. So um, going forward, I also called about what they call. Um, SEO Academy. <laughs> Look at this. Eh? This what we are talking about is about SEO. Someone in the US developed a software called SEO Academy. Search engine, search engine optimization. I have a certificate from SEO Academy. That was the first thing I did when I wanted to be a digital marketer. I went there, I paid for uh, for, for a particular uh, uh, thing, and I started uh, learning about it online. At the end of the day, I passed the, uh, the quiz. At the end of the day, they issued me a certificate. So, so sometimes when I'm applying for a job, I, in my proposal to say that, oh, I have a certificate from SEO Academy, and the client is able to he's talking about. This one knows what they're talking about. So SEO Academy, is also one of the tools that you can use to do what the brush is doing to find keyword. So all of them are doing the same thing, but are different. They have different. Um, they have different. Um, 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 they are called different uh, tools. They are different softwares. So they all do the same thing, but this one is just like having different hotels or different restaurants. They all cook one special meal, like rice and there's, and. The, it will do a bar and the rest of them, but they are doing, they are, they are serving the same purpose. So, and another thing I've talked about is what they call Google ads. You cannot do, um, you cannot do, um, you cannot, you cannot completely be a digital marketer without knowing how to do Facebook ad or do how to do Google ad. And this particular one, um, is a clat on its own um, because um, if you start learning how to, to do Google ad or do a Facebook ad, we are going to have like more than two hours um, to, for me to be able to show you how it is done. So it's a particular area, is a particular um, um, digital component of its own. But it's also one of the um, ways you can be able to market your product. And for example, um, I run a Facebook ad if, you, if you're following me on Facebook, you can see that it's also one of the places I, I used to make money. It doesn't, it doesn't matter whether you're working in Upwork, no. What I do is that I target those small, small scale business people and I approach them to say that if you're having problem making sales, I can run a Facebook ad for you. And do you know how I, do you know how I learned how to do Facebook ad? <laughs> Nobody taught me. I simply went to Google on Facebook. Facebook has a video. Where they can show you how to do Facebook ad. I followed it. I watched it. I practiced it. Boom! I became um, I became a Facebook ad expert. 
And what you must know is that the first day you do Facebook ad, it is okay not to get it right. Because some, some people like to get every, everything right on the first day. It's not going to work like that. If you want to learn how to drive, the first day, you're learning how to drive small, small. She, you're learning how to drive small, small. Second day, you're perfecting it. Third day, you're perfecting it. And in a week, you become um, an expert driver or two weeks or one month. So take it easy on, take it easy on yourself when you're, learning how to, when you're learning a skill online. Just take it easy on yourself. Just go from one after the other. And all these tools I'm mentioning, if it, if it is possible for you, pick a particular one and learn about it. After that first one, when you master that one, you can, you can, you can go to the second one. Someone is asking how I make payment on the Facebook ad. I have a particular card where I make uh, my payment. I just, I just attach my, uh, my payment and uh, Metaverse or Facebook is able to take their money from there. So Stella, that is how I make my payment on, on for Facebook ad. Now, then, another ways where you another tools that you can use to uh, uh, advance. Another way. Is it confused at the end of the day? Everybody has everything. Okay, so another ways that I can be able to um, another ways you can be able to do um, digital marketing uh, is called social media. Social media is a company, is a tool that you can use to do your Facebook, uh, so you can use to do your digital marketing um, skill. If, for example, you see Facebook, you see IG, you see Twitter, you see um, uh, any other platform that you want to use to do your digital marketing, uh, digital market to market your product. That is also a tool. Facebook on its own, Facebook on its own is a, is, is a software, is an app. Facebook is a software. You can use Facebook to market your product or your services. That is digital marketing. If people see that you talk about a particular thing on Facebook all the time, they will patronize you. In other words, I read marketing in school as, as a BS, and you can understand that um, if you post about a particular thing on your Facebook page every time, it becomes what I call aggressive marketing. Aggressive marketing, you put it on people's face. Like if you talk about buying a, buying a, a, a week on your page every day, if anybody says anything about week, somehow your page will pop up. It doesn't matter whether you have um, 10,000 followers or you have uh, 800 followers or you have uh, 200 followers. It is consistency. So when you start doing posting about a particular thing on your page, be it on Twitter and add a, and add a hashtag, anybody that's looking for any particular thing on that thing, will find your page. Try it and try it. And if you don't see it, come back and tell me that you did not see it. So it's a pattern. So if, if, if a client is, if you're applying for a job on Upwork as a digital marketer, let the client know that you know how to use social media. Tell the client that you are an expert on Facebook, you are an expert on IG, you are an expert on Twitter, that you can be able to create hashtag and okay. 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 The hashtag is quite simple. Mm -hmm. So, 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 let's say you have a particular business in Lagos or in California, and you want to you want to be able to market that um, you want to be able to market that uh, particular product. Anybody who is in Lagos or in California, if you keep making a tweet or writing about your, your particular skill, what is going to happen? The person will find your business. The person will be able to find your products. So you must also be conversant with social media. And I'd like to tell you that if you're, if you're someone that is not active on social media and you want to become a digital marketer, it's not going to work. It is not going to work. I'm sorry. If you're someone that doesn't want to be on social media, you don't like being on social media, 
digital marketing is not for you. It's not for you entirely. You must, you must learn, you must learn how to be a digital marketer. And what it means is that your presence online is required every day. You need to be active. So the same thing Nigerians call here, influencers. The same thing that the way you see people's handle on Twitter or Facebook, they will say uh, they, are, they, are, they are influencers. They are actually doing what they call digital marketing. So if you want to be a good digital marketer, please include social media presence in your plan. It's also one of the tools. So I'll quickly mention other, other related to, I'm, I've mentioned them, um, so I'll, I'll take it over again. I've mentioned the Google search, uh, Google analytics. I've mentioned uh, Melch, uh, Melchip. I've mentioned the uh, sim rush. I've mentioned what they call content marketing. You can otherwise known as content writing. Content marketing, otherwise known as content writing. I've mentioned Canva. Please, Canva is one of my best apps. Please pay attention to that particular uh, software. It will help you a lot. It will even help you, uh, even if you don't want to do freelancing, it can help you for your business. If you're a student, it can help you for your project. Then there's another one I called, um, I call it HubSpot. HubSpot is just like um, Trilo as well. For it is just also a CRM where you can be able to advance your, do your digital marketing. And you know one good thing about HubSpot, you can also be able to get a free certificate there. They offer a free certificate. You can just, you just need to search what they call HubSpot together. HubSpot together on Google. Sign in, create, create, create a profile. Please use your real name and also use your real email. They have um, they have free they have some free certificate where you can you can you can also get skilled. The, the, the certificate is done online. You can just answer quiz or digital marketing. Boom, you have a certificate from Hotspot. I have one too. And then there's another one I mentioned. I mentioned the um, Trilo. Trilo is T R E double L O. That is Trilo for you. So Trilo is I'm, I've already explained what Trilo does as well. And then there's another one. <laughs> this one is, I'm, I'm not sure you people want to like, would like it because it's technically a bit, it's called the um, Sprout, Sprout Social. Like you can, you can go for um, S-P-R-O-U-T Social. Social, like social, we socialize like social media, but you don't add media. You just add that Sprout Social, that is it. Then you can also, and uh, this is also one of the tools that you can use. Thank you, Chingwe. Then that's what they call again. You see, Google. The, the funny thing is that I was applying for a job the other day. Um, although I didn't get the job, that's okay. I didn't get the job. But client client asked me if if I know what is Google. And I was I was surprised because why would the client ask me if I know what is Google? I said, hey, of course I know what is Google. He said, do you know how to search on Google? I was like, of course, yes, why not? And I was, get, I was already getting upset. Why would the client ask me if I know what is Google? And by the end of the interview, she told me that they, they have other three um, um, freelancers that are going to interview, although they want people in their zone. But that question struck me. At the end of the interview, I went to my desktop and I started searching about about that client. It was now done on me, the business that, that is why the client asked me that particular question. If you're having an interview with a client and you know the client business, like say company name or company website, go and research about the company so that before the interview, you can be able to tell the client that I know your business is based in Silicon Valley. I know that you sell this, you sell solar. I know that you sell solar. You already do what they call digital marketing. The client will be impressed that you know you're already selling to you're already selling to her. You're already selling to him. That is digital marketing. Digital marketing is everything. Those things you ignore on social media. That is digital marketing. And I like to uh, see. Let me blow your bubbles. If you want to gain traffic, if you want to gain followers on social media, talk about a particular thing. That is a niche, and that is digital marketing. You don't have to sell anything. Maybe you like talking about um, you like talking about skincare. 
you like talking about the particularity, you like talking about fashion, you like talking about, you like writing about celebrities, you like talking about Nigerian news or election. If you keep talking about it every day, people will follow you. That is digital marketing. That is what your client wants, they want you to do. So that when they give you their social media, when, when the client send you their social media pages, like their IG or their Facebook, I'm currently managing about three accounts on Facebook. And every day I woke up, I already write what I'm going to post that day. I reply comment. That is digital marketing. So, and another one is called the active campaign. Active campaign is what I've been talking about, being active on social media. That is active campaign. Your, your, your life there, you're there, you're every time you're there, every time you're there, that is, that is, um, that is an active campaign. You are there, you are selling aggressive marketing. You don't have a product. For those of you who are athlete marketer, that you post about a phone, for those of you who are related to phone, the other day I bought an iPhone from um, one, particular, um, one particular girl I met on this class, um, her name is Chisum, and she's always posting about phone, phone, phone. And 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 I see all her, I see all her, she, I, she, does, she follows me, but I see all her posts all the time. She's talking about phone, iPhone, this iPhone, that. And I was forced to ask her, how much is your iPhone? And she told me, and we negotiated, and I bought the phone. At the end of the day, she told me that she's not even the one only, she's not the owner of the phone. What she simply does is athlete marketing. That's digital marketing, man. That's digital marketing. She's already doing that. So, and, um, and there's another thing I needed to understand. It is called um, um, Asana. For some, for some of you who are conversant what we call Asana, if you go to people's profile on Upwork, you will see them talking about Asana, 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 Asana. Oh, nah, I just said, what is Asana? Because even when, as a digital marketer, I didn't know about this uh, Asana thing. So, but anytime I want to have an interview, the client will ask me what is Asana, what is Asana. I was like, uh, maybe Asana is a thing. Okay, let's roll with it. Um, I started talking about Asana. I talk about Asana when I'm applying for a job with my client. I talk about Asana on my page. Every time I Asana, Asana, Asana. Now I understand it. What you talk about every day, you understand it. If you're a teacher, as you teach every day, you get bored. You learn a lot of things. So when I go to uh, 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 LinkedIn or, 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 or Upwork or, 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 or Indeed, I see Philippines because Philippines have about 20 million people, 20 million uh, freelancers uh, on Upwork. And I can tell you that they are the highest earner. Philippines, everybody in Philippines is, is a freelancer. You're, their mother, their father, their sister, their children, everybody is a freelancer. And the Americans love them because they have population. And everything, all their, all their, all their, all their current earning coming to to, to Philippines, their GDP is coming from Upwork. Their, their, their money comes from Upwork, LinkedIn, and the rest of them. So every day they are talking about everybody in Philippines is a freelancer. So I started talking about Asana. So talk about Asana, 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 and I started learning about it, and I got used to it. And I can understand that some of you. Do not know how to create a Zoom class, a Zoom, a Zoom meeting. Uh, in my in my previous class, I showed people how to create a Google Meet from just directly from your Gmail. A client, a client will ask you, "Do you know how to create it?" Some of them will ask me one another question. Do you know how to? Um, do you know? Do you understand Zoom? That question might throw you off balance, but it's a good question because Zoom. Is also one of the tools you can use to advance your digital marketing skill. If a client asks you, I need, I need to book an appointment with, uh, with someone, uh, with, with, this, with this client on Zoom, with this, with this client on Zoom, how do you do it? You start shaking, you start shaking. But some of you do not even have um, an account from with Zoom. You need to create all those, um, have, all, have all those accounts. Use one, use one email. I use one email in all my business. Every, everything comes there, I will see it. I know where escape me. So Zoom is also a, a, a digital marketing school, a skill because you can use it to communicate to your customer. You can use it to communicate to your clients. It's communication. And when you communicate, anything that you're doing, communication is more like digital marketing. Communication and digital marketing works hand in hand. They are, they are the same thing. You communicate people by. That is digital marketing. You communicate people see your... You see, you see your search engine, that's digital marketing. I am communicating to you right now, and you're listening, 
And I know at the end of this class, you would have learned one or two things. That is also digital marketing. Don't get it twisted that digital marketing is one special thing. With your phone alone, with just your phone, for those of you who ask me, I don't have a laptop, uh, I want to, uh, which key can I do? This is, your, this is your niche. You can be a social media manager. You can be a digital marketer. And the good thing is that all these softwares I mentioned right now, you can do it on your phone. You can write content on your phone. You can post on your phone. You, you can access stream rush from your phone. Content marketing from your phone. Canva, even Canva. I, I Canva. I design. I design stuff with, with with my phone from Canva. And of course, I always recommend that people have a laptop. But please, if you not have, you can start with what you have. So these are the tools that uh, that you can use to be able to um, to be able to um, advance and um, do your job properly. And let me, let me tell you, uh, there are over more than hundred tools that you can use as a digital marketer. But those I mentioned to you right now are the most popular ones. Are the most popular ones. Even referral, referral code. Uh, do you know that, do you know that um, promo, a uh, slash, we are selling, we are doing promo, uh, giveaway. Do you know the word giveaway is, dig is digital marketing? When people come on social media to do giveaway, they are simply doing digital marketing. So if I'm suggesting to a client how you can gain followers, I, I sometimes tell them to do giveaway. Giveaway can be having a product slashed uh, from 50 Naira to 25 Naira. Giveaway can be giving people free clothes or free product, what you could do. It can be money. That is digital marketing. So when you see giveaway, people doing giveaway, you just smile. They are doing what they call digital marketing. So um, we have um, we have less than um, we have less than ten minutes. So um, if I continue speaking, I can talk from now till tomorrow. I I can't stop. This is what I know. So if I keep talking, we would uh, we will not see the end of it. So I would like to have um, I would like to take some questions. Um, I don't just want to speak and end. I would like to have um, those questions you have that you would like to know. You can ask me currently, and by tomorrow, I'm going to share my screen and show you some of the things we talked about today. Thank you for listening to me. I appreciate all of you. Okay, I think some guys have questions. If you have questions, please drop it in the chat or raise up your hand, we'll call you. We still have like uh, five minutes to go. Agabina, please check your chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I like the way you speak. Um, okay. Um, somebody uh, asked, what, somebody said, what is which of the SU Academy? The SU Academy is SU Academy. You just, just go to Google and type it. Do you understand what I'm saying? It doesn't have a, just, just there's one called the SU Academy on its own. So we'll start with that one. Someone also said, how do you make payment on, um, on, um, on, um, on Facebook? Let me tell you something you need to do. Eh? Let me tell you what you need to do. Eh? If you go to your bank, with you see there's your debit card, let your bank know that, see, don't go and use your card where you have plenty of money, where you have your life savings. You say that I said you should go and use to do Facebook ad. No. If, I know that some of you have like two or three banks. Use one bank. If what we're doing online purchase, online sale, you can use GT. GT is quite uh, easy to use. Use their card. You can use it to make payment for Facebook ad. That is what I use. And listen, I did not put any other money there so that I might have forgot if I bought something online, they will go and debit me. The money is gone. So for some of you who are going to be, to be racing to all this app I mentioned, they have a services so or money that they can charge you. So if you're using, don't go and put where you have your life savings. They will debit you, you will say it's your, it's your coach that send you to go and do it. No, use a particular card and let your bank know that you're going to be doing things online like paying for Facebook, uh, Facebook ad, doing Google ad, buying um, costs online. Please have a special card for it. Without your card, the minute you key into your card or your, you put your card details, 
uh, Facebook will debit you from there. It's quite easy. Um, what again? Um, someone said that his question is centered around Facebook. I want to learn it. I don't know what your question is centered around, Stella, but if you ask me, I'll be able to answer you. So aside of digital marketing, what else can we use our phone to do? Heba, Haba, we'll be talking about Discord. We'll be talking about content writing. See, see, ba, see, ba, let me be honest to you. Eh? If you go to, see, when I share my screen for you tomorrow, I'm going to show you what content writer make on Upwork. If you know how to write, please. If you know how to write a blog post, a blog writing, um, um, ghost, ghost, ghost writing, um, uh, content writing, whatever you can write, people will pay you on Upwork to write for them. People can pay you to write about sales product for them. They can pay you to write about uh, ending someone's contract. They can pay you to write about uh, sending someone a proposal. Those are content writing. And you can use your phone to write about them. So you can use your phone to do a Discord, NFT. You can use your phone to be a social media manager. You can use your phone to do digital marketing. You can use your phone to do digital marketing. That is what your phone can do for you. And somebody is asking, please, what then is Asana? You listed this as one of the tools for yes. I already explained what Asana does. The same thing, the same thing Trilo does is what Asana does. And by tomorrow, I'm going to be showing you Asana on my desktop. It's quite easy. So, and if I start showing you all the tools on, on digital marketing, we can we are going to have a whole day. It's not going to end. Like I said, we have more than 100 tools that you can use to do your digital marketing. Asana is one of them. Chinwe is asking me to do a recap of um is asking me to do a recap of what um uh, what we've been able to do. Well, the only thing I talked about today is what is digital marketing. And I said that. Digital marketing is what you can use your phone to advance. Those things that you sell on your street that you don't use your phone to sell. Those things that you can sell on your street, like your boutique, your, your, your rice, your anything you're selling um, verbally, like you say from the word of your mouth. When you start selling it online, what do you use to sell it? Is it not your phone or your laptop? Is your phone or your laptop? So when you use your phone to sell, you're already doing digital marketing. Digital marketing, digital, is when you use your phone, your, your laptop, your iPad, your headset, your social media handle, Facebook, IG, Twitter, to sell, email. That's what they call email marketing. Email marketing is simply sending email to people. See, if, if you have registered for a boat before, you know boat, Abby? There's this particular guy, there's this particular guy from a the boat. They call it Uche. Uche is after my life. Uche is always sending me a message because I registered for a boat that I use when I'm around in Lagos or PH, Abuja. Every day I have a message from Uche about both. He's telling me about both every minute. He's telling me about how both can benefit me. That is that is email marketing. And what this company does is that once you register on both, everybody that registers on both, both will store your email and begin to send you content. They want to keep you as a customer. And they keep you entertained. They keep telling you that you can, if you enter both, you have a discount. And they keep telling you how both will be beneficial to you. That is email marketing. So that is what digital marketing is all about. And I mentioned about um, about digital marketing tools. I mentioned about Google Analytics. I mentioned about Mailchimp. I mentioned <laughs> Simbox. I mentioned Hotspot. I mentioned content marketing, otherwise known as content writing. I mentioned Canva. I mentioned the Busumo. I mentioned Arif. I mentioned Prospecia. I mentioned SU Academy. I mentioned Google Search Console, I mentioned Google Ad, Google Analytics, I mentioned Facebook Ad, IG Ad, and the rest of them. And the most important one I mentioned is Google and social media. I mentioned what they call active campaign. You've been active on, online every time. You wonder why people are online. People will think that you're doing a, a, doing a job that they might think you're doing another thing that is not a legitimate. But you see people, they're in their comfort of their home. They are making money as an influencer. They are making money as a digital marketer. They are simply doing their job from the comfort of their home as a digital marketer. That is what you can be able to do. So, so, so I, I, I think that's all the recap. And tomorrow, I'm going to be sharing my screen for you and show you about, about Canva. I'll show you about, um, about, um, about all these hashtag I mentioned. I'll show you about SimRush, how to search keyword. And I would like to know that whatever I tell you, 
is not going to be enough until you start practicing it. It's not going to be enough until you start being conversant with it. Someone said, can you do a Facebook ad with your phone or must it be with a laptop? See, ba? See, see, see. I don't know how I'm going to answer this question, Stella, but what you can do is this. If you can, by any possible means, buy a laptop, except you don't want to be a freelancer. Phone has its limitations. And let me tell you, if, 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 if your tool, like if you're a mechanic, you have your tools, you have your tools now. And whatever you do as a human being, make sure you have your tools. And it's important, if you don't have money, if you have anybody can, that can borrow you money to buy a laptop. See, when I started, I had to borrow to buy a laptop. It could be from your parents, it could be from your partner, it could be from your friends. It's important that you have a laptop. It's one of the most important tools. See, we are talking about this tool marketing. Let me tell you, laptop is a tool. Laptop is a tool like same rush. So while you're trying to hustle about learning this skill and the rest of them, even if it's a laptop of 30K or 40K or 1 million laptop, get one. I know that some people have an iPhone or a phone that is worth 300,000, uh, 500,000. But I, I, if, if, if you follow me on social media, I, I used to say that I prefer to have an iPhone 6 and have a laptop than have iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone 12 Pro Max and not have a laptop. But that's okay, that is your choice. For me, laptop helps me to be able to make money from home. Phone helps me, but it, do, it, it doesn't do much for me. So that was why I prefer to use, currently, my laptop is quite, quite good. I have, I have like three laptops, and one is for coding. And if you, if you know the kind of phone I use, and I'm not even using the most biggest phone, but I invest money to buy a laptop, so I use a smaller phone. The most important thing in life is to make money and live. So that's what I focus on. Thank you, Stella. Um, and my Facebook name is Obinna Obinze. I'll write it down for you. That is my Facebook name, and you can follow me on Facebook as well. And um, you can see my post while I talk about every day. I try to be online all the time, uh, but I'm quite busy. I have a lot of Facebook page I manage. So um, if you're following me, please be patient. When I don't post, then you can uh, we can also uh, interact with each other. And um, uh -huh, uh -huh, please, the host, let me say this before you end this class. Eh? If you have a business, try and create a Facebook page. Try and create a Facebook page. Facebook profile is there, but try to prom try to have a Facebook page. It's, it's important because that is where you're going to do your ad. That is where you're going to do your ad. Thank you. And um, please, how can I promote a, tele a, a, a telecom website? Okay, this is quite simple. Um, how you can promote your, your, your telecom website is simple. Write, write good, write good, write good um, uh, content. Write good content. Use them, um, if, see, if you have a competitor, if you know anybody that is doing the same thing with you and the person is doing well, copy the person's um, um, website. Go to SimRush and, and, and type it there. SimRush will be able to give you an idea what the person is doing right. What the person is doing right. And you can be able to um, follow that person in full uh, step. Copy, if it's, if it's someone that is doing well in what you want to do, follow that person. You don't have to remove anything, just follow the person. You can learn from the person or the person page. That is what you can be able to do. You can write good content, you can post about it on social media, you can post about it on your handle, and most importantly, write good content about your product. And most importantly too, go to your page and do what I call Google Search Console, Google Analytics. You can be able to uh, keep updated what you're doing, what, how your website can be able to rank on, on Google is on good content. I cannot emphasize on this enough also. Thank you. And uh, is it possible to update profile and Upwork? If yes, how do you go about it? I, I've been talking about this all the time. In all the class, you just need to go to your page. Maybe you can edit anything. As I'm talking to you right now, you can go to your page and remove virtual assistant and add digital marketing. But make sure that in your introduction, in your introduction, you can say that uh, uh, Azubike or Vanessa uh, is a digital marketing expert 
who has been marketing for three years. I have experience with this and this and that and that. Don't go and have a profile where you have a virtual assistant and your page is talking about digital marketing. No, you must add that keyword. That keyword is digital marketing. Add it there. Once you add it, once a client, that is how you're going to get the invite. When a client want to find people that can do a job for, for, for them, they go to Upwork. Client has their own Upwork page. They search digital marketing, a freelancer for digital marketing. That is how your page will appear. Once your page appear, client can be able to send you invite to come and a, a bid for job. And you're automatically, you're getting a traffic to your page. That is what you can be able to do. That is how it's done. You can edit your page a million times every day. Upwork gives you that privilege. Is it possible to edit your business name from Facebook page? Of course now, it's not your page. You can edit anything, but whatever you edit, make sure that it is in line with what you post. Don't go and say you are, you are, you are, you are selling clothes and you're talking about a, a phone. So that is possible, it's quite easy. You can edit it right now we are talking. I open a client account instead of a talent. What do I do? It's quite simple. See, uh, uh, before, before my host will end, will end this class, if you're trying to do something online, please be patient. The way you chat with people at times, when you're doing something online, try to calm down and set that thing. How can you open a client account instead of a talent? You're not a client. Are you trying to hire people on Upwork? If it's possible, delete that account and cr can create um, a, 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 a talent account. And the good thing is that Upwork shows you, Upwork shows you, gives you that option when you're opening a, an, an Upwork account. They have, they will say, for freelancers, for, for, for a client account. It, maybe you want to be a client. That's fine. It's up to you. It's your choice. Um, please, uh, can I write a con can I write content as a niche on Upwork? Nah, eh, this is possible. Like it's one of the it's one of the most important skills on Upwork. Content writer. And I, if if I had time, I would have been able to show you now. But I don't have time. I would have been able to share my screen and show you uh, that you can become a content writer on Upwork. But nevertheless, I'll show you tomorrow. Please, thank you. Um, I think that um, we are done. I don't have any more questions. My host, I think I've answered. Thank you all very the much. That is all for tonight. Uh, we will continue tomorrow, same time, same venue. Uh, a new link will be posted to avoid what happened yesterday. Thank you, guys. Thank you tomorrow. And tomorrow, I'm going to have light. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.